Hello. In this session, we will look at how we can provide Terraform the necessary access so that it can create the resources on AWS using environment variable. So basically how we can authenticate to AWS uh, by providing the credentials in the form of environment variables. Now in the last session, if you can recall, we looked at how you can hard code the credentials in the provider block and we can use that to authenticate to AWS to create the resources. Now, however, that is not a recommended uh, way to give the permissions. This is the other option that you have which you can use to uh, give the necessary permissions that you want uh, Terraform to have. So you can pass the credentials as an environment variable as well. So basically you can uh, declare environment variables. You can give the credentials and that will also. So Terraform will basically scan your environment variables. And if it finds the credentials there, it will use that to authenticate to AWS and create the resources for us. So this is how you can uh, create the environment variables. Now this is on the Linux machine. So you'll say export. Uh, AWS underscore access underscore key underscore ID. Now this is key. So you have to make sure that you use the same key and then the access key. Likewise, export. Now this is for the secret key. Uh, again, you have to make sure you use the same key and then the value. And you also have the optional uh, of uh, giving a region as well. Uh, either you can uh, provide it as an environment variable or you can also define it in the provider block. It's up to you. So again, you will say export AWS underscore region again make sure you use the same key and then the respective value so credentials can be provided by using these uh, key key and value pair so you can use this AWS access key ID AWS secret access key and the AWS region now we will be declaring all of these as environment variables and that will give Terraform the necessary permission it needs to uh, create the resources on AWS so like I said, the region can also be set using this AWS underscore region or you can also use this AWS underscore default underscore region as an environment variable and you can provide your region where you want to create the resources. So here I have my instance where my Terraform is installed. Now here uh, before we create our main.tf file, we will let's export yeah, let's create this environment variables with the respective access key and secret key so we'll use this export like i said you have to make sure you have to use the same key so aws underscore access key id equals to in quotes you can give the value so the value you can get it from your iam so you'll have to basically create the access key and secret key so in my case here I have the user and for this user we go to security credentials and here I'm going to create my access key and secret key. So we'll go with this command line interface and then we'll check mark this, click on next and click on create access key and this should create the access key and secret key for us. So this will be our access key, enter. Likewise, we'll now export the secret access key. So we'll say AWS secret access key and again in quotes you can give the value so this is my secret access key and we'll provide that likewise you also have the option of giving the region so here you can use this aws underscore region so we can use export aws underscore region and in which region you want to create the resources so we have set our environment variables now you can check whether these environment variables are set or not by using this env command and we should be able to see so there's my secret access key that we have created there's my access key and we should also be able to see the region and here's my region all right so this is how you can declare the um, environment variables and you can use that to create the resources or you can give a terraform the necessary permission to create the resources now what we will do is we will define our uh, provider block so here we'll say my provider is aws and we are not going to give anything in the provider block so basically my access key the secret key and the region uh, will be picked up from Terraform. So in the last session we discussed about the order 
uh, in which your Terraform looks for the credentials. So environment variables is one place where Terraform will, will look for the credentials. And then we'll define our resource block. So this is my AWS instance. And then uh, I just want to create an example instance. And then my instance type would be t2.micro and the AMI to launch this instance, I'll pick it from here. Okay, so we'll copy that, we'll provide this and we will save this file. Though the first thing we'll have to do is initialize this if it's a new code that you've written, like the first time you've written this code. So we'll initialize this so that it will download the plugins for us. So let's wait for this to complete and done. All right, so my Terraform is initialized. Now we will run the Terraform plan. Now remember, we have not given any credentials in the provider block. However, because we have declared our um, uh, environment variables, access key and secret key, my Terraform will pick the uh, authentication information from the environment variables and it will create the resources for us. So here is the plan that we have. And if you want, we can deploy. So this is how we can make use of the environment variables to give Terraform the necessary access so that it can create the resources for us on AWS. That's all for this session. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.